Yo, what's poppin', man? You know what it is. The kid reppin' Dave County, Zoe Dollars, the Haitian Prince. Shots to Shoot Crew TV, man. We out, just get it on okay? game. Oh, man. Start by software is so important to the culture because of the simple fact that it's just uh, a platform, man, where you come in and you, uh, you see people with raw talent, you know, even though they might not be on the big stages, but you go to these small bars that got like a open mic or a vibe and you really catch some people that's like really dope. You know, you network all the up and coming producers out here, up and coming managers out here, up and coming bloggers out here. It's just a great platform if you part of music shit. Keep it real with you. I haven't been in a mall with my friends and been like, yo, let's go shopping. Mm -hmm. I don't know that feeling anymore because it's just, like I said, it's so hectic with my life and everything that's going on. I got to be a father, a rapper, mm -hmm. and every a hustler, everything. So it's kind of tough for me to just get up and go shop. Like my manager handle all that for me or a brand just send me stuff. Mm -hmm. But if, I wanna, if I'm driving, I feel like stopping by somewhere, I go to All Star, mm -hmm. I go to Purple Carpet. It's in my city, you know, I'll stop by a few places, a few boutiques and stuff and go. If I'm out of the country, you go to an appointment only at Harrods in London. Uh, you know, we do, we do. And I'm in LA, I go to round two. Yeah, what do you, what's your opinion on round two? Like what they brought to the culture? I rock with it. I rock with it. I don't really be having a shovel to look deep in the stuff. I just, if it's there, I fuck with it. Man, it was a dope experience. It was my first major tour. And it was just an experience to go to these other states and these other cities and see that I had fans there and people that rock with me. Mm -hmm. Even people that heard me for the first time, they automatically became a fan. It was like, damn, boy, where are you from? And stuff like that. Yeah. So my next tour is going to be very dope, too. Yeah, I'm about to drop. I'm about to drop, uh... Next month, I'm dropping a new EP titled Mega. Mm -hmm. I don't know when, I don't know the exact date, but for sure April, I'm gonna give it out. What do you, like, what kind of producers and, and, and people are you working with on that? Uh, I, be, I be sticking to the strip. I got, I got Smash David, I got uh, Major Seven, I got Ronnie J, I got uh, Slade the Monster, I got, uh, man. 808 Mafia, it's, it's a few people. Oh. And I got a whole project coming out with them too. Really? Like just straight? Yeah, me and 808. I already know that. Like, that yeah, it's gonna be fire. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a D-Wave fan, but I'm a Miami Heat fan first. Yeah. No matter who comes there, it's, it's always gonna be Miami Heat, no matter what. Yeah. Win or lose, it's, it's all Miami Heat, Yeah. period. I don't care if Jordan come to Miami Heat. That's just what it is. My yeah. favorite player in the world is Iverson. If he came to the Heat, it's still going to be the Heat. If he left the Heat, it's still going to be the Heat. So, yeah. however it go. And we're going to be on them wood floors too this year at them games for sure, for sure. Man, the best advice for that is um, if you believe in something, stick to it, work at it. At some point, it's going to give you whatever you work for. You can't never cheat the grind, for sure, for sure. If you've been working, if you've really been grinding, that shit gonna show. It's gonna hit. When you least expect it to hit, too, it's gonna hit. Boom, you gonna be like, oh shit, I don't know what's going on. So, best bet is stay focused. Really focus on that. Don't give it 40, don't give it 50, you gotta give it 100. If you're giving it half, it's always gonna give you half back. If you grinding and you see nothing's happening for you, it's only because you ain't grinding hard enough, period.